Hi everyone, this is Justin Catroni from Analytics Talk. I uh, wanted to do something a little bit different today and share some exciting news with everyone. Today at the eMetrics Marketing Optimization Summit, Brett Crosby from Google uh, announced some new features that uh, are going to be added to Google Analytics. Uh, they're not here yet, they're going to be added in uh, the next few weeks, uh, I believe on October 22nd, but the announcement was made today. Uh, the first enhancement is actually a new JavaScript file. So right now we currently use a file called urchin.js. It has all of our functions in it. Uh, but Google has created a new file called ga.js. Uh, and ga.js is not replacing urchin.js, at least not now. Um, but it uh, at some point probably will. So they will both exist for the time being. And the new GA.js is a smaller file, so it will help your pages load faster. Uh, and it is also a completely object-oriented um, version of the tracking code. And that means it's a little bit easier to understand. And for programmers, it's probably going to be a little bit easier to integrate with some of your custom code that you may have. Now, the reason why we have a new GA.js file is because of another new feature, event tracking. Uh, so as of, uh, I think, October 22nd, when the beta is uh, live, Google Analytics will have event tracking. And event tracking, if you haven't heard, is all about tracking visitor interactions with uh, objects on your website. So this could be a video player, an audio player, or maybe an Ajax application like a widget. We can now track things like clicks on a play button or a stop button. We can measure things like how far people get through a video or an audio clip. And before we could kind of cobble together this type of tracking, um, but event tracking is much better. It really creates an entirely new data structure for us to utilize in Google Analytics. So now we have a data model that has visitors on the top, visits below that, and page views at the bottom. Below page views, we now have event level data. Uh, so it's an entirely another level of data that we can collect uh, and analyze about our visitors. Um, it's, I think this is a really, really exciting feature because essentially we have a framework to collect information about anything and it doesn't pollute our uh, other analytics data. So I think event tracking is a really, really cool feature. So we have GA.js, the new tracking code. We have event tracking, which takes advantage of the new tracking code. And we have on-site search reporting. Uh, this is an entirely new set of reports. I believe there's six reports that are going to provide insight into the on-search uh, keywords and activities of your visitors. And this goes way beyond just telling you what keywords people search for. It's going to actually connect uh, the outcomes, so the conversion activities, with these keywords that people searched with. It's also going to provide navigational information about how often people searched and how they refined their searches while they were on the website. So these reports are really going to provide a lot of insight into what they did um, when they were using your site search and the value that they got out of it. So I think these reports are really amazing and they're going to provide a lot of help to people that are doing uh, optimization of the site. So in addition to those uh, exciting new features in Google Analytics, there is another announcement. Uh, for all of you Urchin fans, Urchin 6 is here. Uh, that's right, uh, Google has produced a new version of Urchin software. We were stuck on Urchin 5. Point I think 073 for a long, long time, almost three years. But now Urchin 6 is here. Uh, it's only going to be available to existing Urchin 5 customers in beta form, and you have to sign up to be part of the beta, uh, but it's a completely new product. Uh, the back end has been uh, rebuilt for performance, uh, and the front end is completely new, so the interface is entirely redesigned. Uh, if you remember the old Google Analytics, um, that is the new version of Urchin. So you're going to have things like uh, better reports, um, cross-segmentation. Uh, it's really a, a, an, an enormous upgrade over the previous version of Urchin. So we're very excited about uh, the new version of Urchin, and we can't wait for everyone to get a hold of it. So as I mentioned, uh, these features and uh, Urchin 6 are not available today. Um, beta signups uh, are going to begin, um, and I believe they're all going to be released on October 22nd. Now, because this stuff is so new, we really haven't had a chance to play with a lot of it and really gain uh, in-depth knowledge about it, but I've tried to reverse engineer a few things and cobble together all the knowledge that I have, and I've written a, a whole bunch of posts, so you'll see some links right below here um, with uh, links to uh, articles about event tracking, the data model, on-site search, and uh, how you can use it, and Urchin 6 software. 
Uh, I've also written a little bit about the new GA.js file and the implications that it have, has uh, for all of us. So a lot of this stuff is really new and it is beta, so some of the links may not work right away. I'm probably going to roll these posts out over the next few days and I am going to keep them up to date. So I think they're going to do a really good job of giving you guys a nice baseline knowledge of um, the new changes that are out and kind of some of the implementation uh, uh, modifications that you might have to make, you know, between switching between the old tracking code and the new tracking code. So um, give them a read. Let me know what you think. Uh, leave comments, please. I'm really uh, interested to hear what you guys have to say and what you think about these new features. And um, let's all get excited. I think these are some really cool features that are all going to help us uh, provide better insight into what visitors do when they come to our website. So. That's it from here. I uh, hope everyone's well, and we'll talk to you next time.